Hello, my name is Angela McLean and I am the Government Chief Scientific Advisor. Engineering biology uses biology and engineering to design and construct new or modified products derived from nature. It applies the principles from the world of engineering, such as the design, build, test, learn cycle, to make the things we need across a range of industries. Engineering biology is important because it has the potential to make new products in ways that are kinder to the environment. It can also be more efficient. The future is very promising. And if we want to make the most of these new technologies, we need industry, academia and government to work together and ensure the public is involved in their development. If we do that, we can build thriving industries that not only drive economic growth, but also contribute to a healthier and more sustainable world. The applications are vast and diverse, spanning various areas. Here, at the Government Office for Science, we've explored five examples. Biosynthetic fuels, nitrogen fixing cereals, future fashion, microbial metal factories, and lab-grown blood. Hi, I'm Ash Toy. I'm an engineering biologist, and I am obsessed with red blood cells. Imagine a world where no patient dies from a lack of compatible blood. That's what we're working towards. If you came off your bike or fell off a ladder, you might have a head injury, which means you lose a lot of blood. You'll be taken by an ambulance to a hospital, and then you will need a blood transfusion. This is where the problem starts. There's always a challenge to get a source of the right type of blood to the patient that comes in through the door. In the body, you make red blood cells from stem cells in a process called erythropoiesis. You can make lab-grown blood pretty much like the body does from stem cells. What engineering biology can do is take some of those stem cells and immortalize them at a point on the way to becoming a red cell. And then we can then engineer those cells further to make them more compatible in the sense of blood types. We remove proteins and also sugars from the surface of the cell using a technology called gene editing. Normally what happens with um, blood groups and compatibility is if it's something that your body recognises as not you, it will make an antibody against it. So if it's not there in the first place, you won't make an antibody. With lab-grown blood around, you won't lose people on the operating table from a lack of compatible blood. I'm Louise Horsfall, Professor of Sustainable Biotechnology at the University of Edinburgh. Imagine a future where engineered microbes are able to recycle all our metals for us. Historically, we've categorised societies by our use of metals, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age. Now we're in a green transition and we're moving away from our dependence on petrochemicals. But in doing so, we're actually increasing our reliance on metals. We're increasing our demand for copper because of all the copper cables that we need for electrification. Wind turbines have rare earth magnets in them and lithium ion batteries are not only in our personal electronic devices but actually they're in our electric cars. And they have in them lithium and cobalt and nickel and manganese. It's very difficult to recycle modern day technologies. Smartphones have lots of different metals in them and we want to be able to harness that using engineering biology and scale it up so it can become a process that benefits all of us. The extraction of metals can be done with microbes and plants and this is a more sustainable process. If it's not done with microbes and plants directly, it can be done with bio-derived acids which are able to dissolve metals. This technology is potentially transformational. We have lots of metals already within the economy and being able to move them to a circular economy where we keep reusing, remanufacturing, recycling these metals means that there is less competition for the resources globally and we're more secure as a country. Hello again. You've just seen two applications and you can find out more about these exciting technologies and their many applications by reading our Engineering Biology Aspirations Foresight Report on gov.uk.